In this video we'll demonstrate some new functionality in Alpha Anywhere that makes it easier to work with XML documents. So let's go here now and get an XML document by making a REST call here. So if I go question mark LEN of XML I can see I've gotten a document with 118,000 bytes. And then let's call the new show um, XML function and pass in that XML over there. So press enter and we can see here is the XML document that we retrieved by making this uh, REST call over here. And now um, if we go to the XBasic properties we'll see how we can pass this data which is not very XBasic friendly in its current form into an XBasic dot variable. So let's go ahead now to the XBasic properties pane and we can see now that we can drill down into this document so for example RSS version is 2 and then channel title is lifehacker and then the link is lifehacker.com and then if we get to say feed burner info we see that there for example is an, a URL and then if we go to item we can see that this is an array now with 25 items in the array so if we click for example on title that's the title of the 25th item in the array there's the link there's the description there's the uh, category which is in turn an array and I can see I can easily keep on drilling down into the data and each time that I select a leaf node in this uh, tree array here I get to see the XBasic variable here so um, this is just a placeholder uh, which references the variable that I used when I passed uh, the data. So that can be anything, uh, that, that's a variable name of your choice. And then this is the actual variable uh, that gets populated. So for example, if I wanted to write an XBasic uh, expression to pull out the, the title from the 23rd item uh, in the array, I can see here that if I were to just go here and let's look at this example, we can see that um, this is how you would do it. Uh, you would call the uh, property from XML function to pass the data, to pass the XML into a dot variable. So here's our dot variable, which could be arbitrarily named. So in this case, I've just chosen the word content. And then I've basically passed the XML document into this dot variable called content. So now let's assume that I'd like to get this um, property. So I'd like to get the title of the 17th um, item in the uh, XML document. So I just simply say uh, content because that's the uh, value of my dot variable dot RSS dot channel dot item 17 title and that's going to give me the value of the um, uh, element in the XML document. If I wanted to get all of the um, the titles for all of the array items then I would just use the XBasic dump properties method. So if I were to go here and say content dot RSS channel dot item dump properties of title that would give me a CRLF delimited list of all of the titles from every single array item so in this particular case we can see that this array um, item array for this particular document has uh, 25 entries in it now if I were to go to the XML tab here and make some change uh, to this document and then go back to XBasic will repass the uh, document for you. So I'll just go there to title and change it to Lifehacker2. Now we'll go back here and let's look at uh, title and you can see that the document has been repassed. So the uh, show XML command is um, a very powerful way for uh, looking at XML documents in a way that's much easier to understand than just simply looking at the raw HTML document and then also the uh, ability to um, pass the document into XML into a dot XBasic dot variable using the star property from XML function uh, makes it very easy to work with XML documents uh, in XBasic. So the uh, um, star uh, property from XML function is in addition to all of the existing XML passing functionality that already exists in Alpha Anywhere. Uh, thanks very much for watching.